from Portland, it's the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Mikey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Mikey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. I down our toll free telephone number. You're gonna need it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred. 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's time from the studios of Max 910, talk radio for guys in Portland, Oregon. And we are so happy to be back in Portland after almost a five-year absence. I mean, we've been on the radio. We have just not physically visited. We've got our big event tomorrow at uh, Barracuda. Now, uh, the big announcement today is that um, chicks don't need tickets. I'm not kidding. Chicks don't need tickets. Now, hot chicks will still get backdoored. If you're a 9 or a 10, uh, you can email us with your photo, and uh, Gary Zabransky will get you in the back. You're sent to uh, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com, and then you can um, you can hang with the band. You know what I'm talking about? But um, guys need tickets. Chicks just waltz right in. It's 9 West. No, I'm sorry. 9 Northwest, 2nd Avenue, downtown Portland. Tomorrow, doors open at 2. We recommend you get there really, 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 really early. Really early. Because, um, you know, a ticket does not guarantee admission. You must know that. does not guarantee admission. If uh, the place is full, you'll have to wait. So uh, you want to be the earliest people there. You want to get right up front and see everything that goes on. You absolutely do. That's tomorrow at Barracuda. And again, uh, if you're one of the hotter chicks in Portland, you just email us that picture to Tom at blowmeuptom.com. It doesn't have to be naked. Just a, a picture that demonstrates your hotness. If it is naked, that wouldn't hurt, but uh, it doesn't have to be. Now, the only other way to do that, really, I mean, what? Do we have to bring chicks down here? They'd never find this radio station if we, uh, in an industrial park. Where is this? I don't even know where we are. Can I tell you something? Can I be honest? It's been so long since we've been to Portland. I don't know where we are. I just got it dropped here. It's just kind of like the limo dropped me off. I came into the building. This rarely happens. Usually when I'm at a radio station, I know where I am. I don't know where I am. If the people here decided to kidnap me or hold me for ransom, I wouldn't know where to tell you to come. I wouldn't have any idea. But... uh who knows? Maybe there's a hot chick out there uh, who's been down here before. We'd like to get down and show us what she's got. That's fine. We'll figure that out. But uh, very, very good to be back in Portland, and uh, now we can find our way around again. At one time, I kind of knew my way around here, but it's been a long time. And we came here between the years of like 95 and 99, like fairly frequently. Uh, many times we tagged along to a, a Seattle trip. We do Seattle, and then we do Portland or vice versa. And then um, things broke down, and we uh, suddenly were not appearing in Portland anymore, just Seattle. But thank God they sold the station. <laughs> and uh, no more baseball preemptions, nothing. We're on every goddamn day. That's a good thing. Tell you what. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. And I saw a great story in the Los Angeles Times yesterday. It was killer. And uh, I actually read the story twice because I, I couldn't believe what it was talking about. This is something that we've kind of flirted with on the air, kind of danced around or kind of uh, ramped up to a little bit. But uh, they just said it straight out times, and now we're going to get into it. We've done the air about uh, Sharon Tay, the uh, anchor woman on the KTLA Morning News, who is every man's wet dream. She absolutely is. She absolutely is. And I've told you, um, now being here in Portland, it reminds me, you know, I turn on the news and let's just say that the anchor people in Los Angeles are model-like in their qualities. And here they, let's just be charitable and say they look like real people. In L.A., many of them don't look like real people. They, oh, they're so fake and phony. No, they, 
they they just don't like look like people you know. And by the way, I've met all of these people. I, mean, I, I actually do know these people. But uh, here is the um, here was the story from the L.A. Times yesterday. KTLA Morning News anchor Sharon Tay's seductive gaze from the pages of a men's magazine suggests that the headlines of the day are the last thing on her mind. We tell you, when I'm looking at Sharon Tay, the headlines are the last thing on my mind. <laughs> Bold lipstick accents her prominent lips, and few might disagree that she wears her clothes, what there is of them, well. But despite posing in various stages of undress in the March issue of Razor magazine, Tay, who anchors the 5 to 7 a.m. edition of the news, insists she has no aspirations to be America's next top model. Oh, no, 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 says the petite Tay, shaking her head vigorously. I'm way too short. Now, Tay's fashion pictorial has revived the debate. Uh, uh, who is this debate? Uh, homely people, no doubt, are having this debate. Uh, anybody who's attractive or likes looking at attractive people, they're not debating this at all. Can I tell you? It's revived the debate, it says here, about the blurring of boundary. By the way, the person writing the article, I don't even know who it is. Probably one of those jealous, homely people who would love to be in a layout in Razor magazine, but instead they write anonymously for the newspaper. Yes, reviving the debate about blurring the boundaries between news and entertainment. While some TV newswomen, such as Fox 11's Jillian Barbary, you've seen Jillian Barbary if you don't live in L.A. She's been on the NFL pregame shows, and she's hosted some game shows and stuff. And KTLA's Mindy Burbano, she's from Portland, by the way. Mindy, yes. Have emphasized sexuality to promote themselves and their newscast for several years. The emergence of news anchors using magazines and websites to flaunt their physical attributes has heightened concerns about the boundaries between journalism and show business, with academics, news directors, and rival anchors, usually homelier than the hot ones, denouncing the practice. In one of the full page photos of her in Razor, a young men's magazine, LA Times has to explain what Razor is. Because their readership is near death. A young men's magazine similar to Maxim and FHM that features scantily clad celebrities. Tay leans against a wall in a tight, backless green outfit that reveals a hint of her rear end. She highlights her cleavage in another photo. The pictorial is not... By the way, Sharon's a listener. You know that? She is a listener of our show. So she's a fan of ours, too. Not for the same reasons, though. The Victorial is not Tay's only promotional vehicle. The anchor has a personal website. Did you know Sharon Tay has her own website? Where she touts her beauty secrets and health and fitness tips. Then they quote one of her health and fitness tips from the website. It says here, do you want to have a firm butt? A few, most people want to have her firm butt in their hands. A few squats and lunges are great for this pow-pow factor. There is also a Tay photo gallery. Her website bio names Tay as, quote, an in-demand talent for a diverse array of entertainment industry projects. What have, what have we seen her in except the news? Well, she's available. For, uh, if, if, if you have a project, she'll, she'll take a meeting. A description absent from her KTLA biography on the station's website. At, at, at the KTLA website, here's what they say about Sharon Tay. She's always interested in improving her journalist skills. <laughs> that means she gets called into the news director's office a lot. Sharon, you got to stop <laughs> showing off your cleavage on the news and look like you've read a paper once in a while. Okay. <laughs> Says here, and, and this is the newscast I've been talking about on the air for some time, and apparently the ratings have been going up. KCOP's nightly UPN News 13 anchor, Lauren Sanchez, often appears in mini skirts, boots, and revealing blouses, delivering stories at a hyper pace underscored by techno music. The station promotes the broadcast, its sole news offering, as News with Attitude. There's no news. It's attitude and a lot of flesh, that's what it is. It says here the 11 p.m. UPN newscast is in recent ratings among the key 18 to 49 demographic group since last year. When Sanchez posed for a 10-page layout in Open Your Eyes or Oye, a magazine catering to Latino males. I wrote a piece for them once, matter of fact. America's hottest news anchor declared the article, which featured Sanchez in low-cut or tight-fitting blouses and dresses. Here's the introduction to, Char to um, 
Lauren Sanchez's layout in Oye. Newscasters just aren't supposed to be this hot. It's downright distracting. How's a man supposed to pay attention to what's going on in the world when the news anchor looks like she belongs on the big screen? Or better yet, the Victoria's Secret catalog. Other local news personalities, this is in L.A., of course. Other local news personalities who've come under scrutiny in the last few years include KCBS uh, Channel 2 weather entertainment reporter Lisa Joyner, KCAL Channel 9 afternoon anchor Mia Lee, and most notably KTTV Channel 11 weather reporter Barbary, who's played, parlayed her newscast fame into a career as an entertainer. What does that mean? They use that word entertainer. I always imagine somebody sliding down the pole. Joyner and Lee have drawn attention because of their on-air wardrobes, while Barbary and Burbano have appeared in men's magazines. Still, some industry analysts say that Barbary and the others should not be held to the same standards as Tay and Sanchez, since anchors are regarded as the quarterbacks of a newscast. Their ability to convey authority, knowledge, and calm is considered central to a newscast's success. Well, you say that, but you just told us the Channel 13 news is up in the key 18 to 49 demographic because Lauren Sanchez has huge knockers that are always hanging out of a blouse and wears miniskirts so you can practically see her ass. Can you name one story you've ever seen on UPN News 13? Ever? Ever? Come on! <laughs> Central to a newscast success. The success of a newscast is judged by how high the ratings are. And if you don't believe that, ask all the anchor people who've been fired over the years. You don't get ratings, you get fired. Please. Please. Ask everybody who's worked at Channel 2 for the last 20 years in Los Angeles. Everybody. Everybody. Go, go down the list. Ann Martin. Michael Tuck. Who are some of the other people? Who even remembers anymore? They're all long gone. The ones who are still here, ones with big knockers and miniskirts. That's who's still on. I'll show you a successful newscast. Going back to uh, Sharon Tay and Lauren Sanchez. Both women are heading up anchor desks. In, by the way. There is no anchor desk on Channel 13. That's, uh, if there was a desk, you couldn't see some of the best parts of Lauren Sanchez. She stands there, and you can see all of it. What else do you need? Both women are heading up anchor desks in two of the most competitive time periods in local news, the 5 to 7 a.m. slot in particular, where five stations vie for viewers, has become the most hotly contested time period in local news in the last few years. Now, let's guess the uh, attractiveness level of the following individual. Judith Marlene, a professor in the radio, television, and film department of Cal State Northridge. <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not going to cast any aspersions here or render any judgments. How attractive do you think she is? Okay, you've got the, the anchor women with huge knockers who are raising the ratings in the 18 to 49 key demographic. And then you've got the professor who's criticizing this out at the epicenter, Cal State Northridge. All right. And here's what she says. With all that's gone on, the blurring between news and entertainment has become so blatant in terms of the entertainment side of the equation that there really is no longer a blur. What these two women have done is demean the whole profession and set women back undermining all the years of advancement that have been made. Come on! Please. Meow. Caddy, caddy, caddy. You wish you looked like these chicks. Come on! If you looked like these chicks, you would be on TV doing layouts in Razor Magazine. You would not be writing articles out there in Northridge, Cal State Northridge. Please! Tay said she is not bothered by the criticism prompted by the Razor layout. She said in a recent interview, I need to be myself, and when I'm myself, viewers respond. Tell you what, if you were yourself with even less calls on, they'd respond even more. She says, I can show that I can be girly, I can be funny, I can be sexy, I can be honest, I can relate to them on a friend level, they can trust me. I have a lot of credibility because I'm real. I don't think the knockers are real, but nobody cares. That's not the view of Ron Feynman, who runs a website that casts a critical eye on the journalism practiced on TV newscasts. If a journalist is a serious news anchor, he said, a certain public image should be maintained, and sex kitten shouldn't be one of them. One rival station executive said, either you're going to be in the news business or you're in the entertainment business, but you can't do both. Who's kidding who? Who 
Who's kidding who? I just watched a newscast in Portland today that was nothing but blatant promos for other programs on the same TV station. What do you mean you can't be in the same? The news business is the entertainment business. And the, and the newscasts that are not entertaining have no viewers. And anybody who doesn't believe me, I've got three letters for you. CNN. The ratings of CNN are in the toilet. They need some big knockers on CNN. And you know what? Paula Zahn's getting a little long in the tooth. They need some real hot chicks in there. They need some action. Some miniskirts. Get rid of the anchor desk. Have the anchor crawling across the desk like a tiger. And you'd watch. Who's kidding who? Unbelievable. Anyway, the, the story goes on, but you get the idea here, right? I mean, there's this... Big controversy about whether female news anchors should be hot. And, and, and here's the deal. Can I tell you something? The point is, when I was a kid, way back when, most of the people on the news were men. Because who would ever believe what a broad has to say anyway? Would you believe that a young woman read the paper? I mean, come on. Anybody really believe Lauren Sanchez ever cracks open a paper? And the fact is, do you really, would you trust her telling you the news? Would you actually believe that she wrote any of the, anything that she's reading or that, that she's read any of the stories, read any of the material, done any research? Of course you're not going to believe that. Why have this pretense? Why not just say, hey, we have to have women on the newscast. We have EEO requirements. We have to, we have to hire women. And we use them as eye candy because if you put women who know about the news, they're all a bunch of old bags, like the kind you see on the news in the Pacific Northwest, all these um, these old, butcher-fine-looking chicks. I mean, you want to put hot chicks and people will watch. It's TV, for Christ's sake. Right? Tom, 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 like it. Tom, like it. Like it. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. So everything men do is tied directly to whether they're going to get laid or not. It's tied directly to our members, you know. It is everything. It's the Tom Like It Show. The Tom Like It Show on 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hi to Brittany on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Brittany. How are you? Do you care? I do care. Um, I just graduated in May with my degree in broadcast journalism, and um, I don't see anything wrong with what these women and how they are dressing on the news in the morning, afternoon, or night. Um, I, I, I like seeing them dress this way. I like seeing them good looking, and I think it, it makes me want to watch them even more. Well, uh, because looking. you don't really care. You know, you're a 24-year-old female. You don't really care what's going on in the news for the most part anyway. Of course I care what's going on in the news. This is, oh, no, you this don't. Is come on. This future. Oh, come on. Now, what come are we on. talking about here? Are we talking about the way these women are dressing, or are we going to talk about whether I care no, or what's, not? All right, name, name one of the top stories today. One of the top stories, Iraq, Osama bin Laden. His what new about Iraq? Mr. What about him? We'll yeah. discuss that uh, President Bush's speech just the other night. But wait, talk, wait I'm talking about today. What? Osama bin Laden. So in other words, you, what, what story? Osama bin Laden asking Europe to pull out, making a trade, making making some kind of... Oh, my God. Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Portland, Oregon at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tomorrow... Broadcast will come to you from Barracuda, and um, we have opened it up to chicks, period. All chicks, no ticks. That's right. You don't need a ticket if you're female. If you're male, you need a ticket. That's the deal. That's uh, tomorrow at Barracuda 9, Northwest 2nd Avenue in downtown Portland. That's the deal. Really hot chicks can email us their picture, and if they're really hot, you will get all kinds of VIP treatment through the back door. But um, other than that, all females welcome. Show up tomorrow. So there's this big controversy, mostly among the homely, that, um, you know, news chicks on TV shouldn't be hot. There's such a thing as too hot. And I say, um, I don't believe any chick under 45 knows what she's talking about when it comes to news or politics or anything like that. I just don't believe it. So why put these women on the news and then pretend they're anything but, you know, either they're required to hire them because uh, federal government actually has laws 
that says you that they say you have to hire a certain number of females, blacks, handicapped, whatever. That's the way it is. So why pretend these chicks are on there because they know what they're doing? They know what they're talking about. Then let them be eye candy, for God's sake. It's Jamie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, Tom. Hello, Jamie. So, listen, I went to El Camino College uh, when I first began uh, my college career. I took a, a course in uh, journalism. And the teacher told us that allegedly Lauren Sanchez uh, had her mother take a math course for her, for her so she could graduate from El Camino College to transfer. I mean, this chick is an idiot. The yeah, news sucks. I, I, but, 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 but let me ask you a question. Do you, have you watched that newscast on Channel 15? I've, I've tried to. But it's it's so how hard many, is it to watch hot chicks? I, mean, I don't understand. How a, hard is that? It's it's really hot. I just watch it. If they could only, I always put on the mute button and just watch her. Lips Perfect. Move. That's oh. all I have to do. Damn. Which I mean, lips? Oh. Yeah, you know, just just turn off the channel or something. But this is what I say. It's all about TNA. TNA right. is what sells. That's why she's That's on right. there. It's not because she's intelligent. Right. It's not because she knows. Is there a problem with that? Well, not a no hell no, all not, right. not at all. Well, you start telling us about journalism class, and her mother took a math test for her. But come on, you watch it too. Well, yeah, of course I am, but she's an idiot. That's all. That's what I wanted to say, Tom. Well, you know, most hot chicks are idiots. Thank God. They don't have to develop any intelligence, don't you understand? Every yeah. guy will pay for everything. They'll open every door. They'll give them money. What do they need to be smart for? Yeah, but I, but I, what I do dislike is that every time, oh. I'm going to make something myself because I want to I want to be the one that breaks them all because I'm going to be an intelligent hot chick. No yeah. such thing. No such thing. Well, you're certainly right about that. Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. What's going on? It's doing a radio show here, Dan. That's a great show, man. I love it. Long First time, not long enough time. Thank you. But uh, anyway, man, while I'm out on the, west, on the East Coast, there is no hot chicks on the news. None. Oh, I know. You're right about that. Can you uh, look, I grew, some, can you I grew up on the East Coast. I mean, in New York, they got that god awful Sue Simmons and some of these other uh, these uh, uh, matrons uh, doing the news. Oh, well, I'm not, I, don't know about New York. I don't know about New York, but in D.C. and Baltimore, oh my God! Yeah, I was, just, I was just I was just in D.C. and Baltimore. I did. Uh, it's one homely chick after another. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Can you send some our way? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just uh, put them on a plane. What the hell? They're probably, they're probably too stupid to say no. They'd probably show up. Oh, please help me, Tom. All right. I'm, well, you know me, Dan. I'm always, I'm hey. always here to help. Uh, it's Grant on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Grant. How you doing, Dad? I'm doing okay, son. Excellent. Well, I just wanted to say, man, what's the first thing you think of when you see a hot chick? <laughs> Banging her. Exactly. <laughs> so why should I see my news from a hot chick. I think of the Peanuts cartoon. Wah, 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 wah. You know, I watch the news to see what's going on with my great commander in chief, you know. Come on. A little sarcasm there for you, Tom. And I end up getting aroused at the end, man. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, baby. Can you take me out Kobe style? Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Uh, She's so special to me. Uh, yeah, it beats in my heart. Uh, yeah, the air I breathe. Uh, She's so special to me. Uh, 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 it's Bob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you? I'm okay, son. Good to hear it. Hey, listen, I just got one quick point, so I'll make it quick. Um, I think all these people need to stop complaining, and the reason is this. There are tons of outlets in today's day and age to get serious news if you want it. And anybody who's dumb enough to turn into a local news station, their serious news gets exactly what they deserve. Well, I mean, how many, first of all, the people, and I know about this because I'm in the advertising business, the people advertisers want to reach are young. Young people don't care about the news and don't care about politics. But uh, it, it, news is really the cheapest thing that a TV station can produce. It's cheaper than entertainment programming or scripted shows or what have you. So uh, they want to produce local shows. They want to attract young audience. So what do you do? Well, the stations that succeed put hot chicks on. It's that simple. Who cares about the news? You want the news? Go to the Internet. Read a paper. 
I agree with you entirely. And on the other side of the coin, I think people who turn into, you know, local news for for their dose of TNA every day are pretty pathetic too. But that's another story. Well, the thing is, I, I, I put it this way. I don't go to Channel 13 to find hot chicks on the news and watch. But if I happen to be in front of the TV when whatever ends at, uh, you know, I don't know what it is, Frasier or Seinfeld, whatever reruns they run. If I happen to be sitting there and then the news comes on with hot chicks, I'm not turning it off. I'm not. I hear you. I, it, it, it gets boring after a while, though, doesn't it? Looking at hot chicks? Well, but there's tons I, of What are you, a homo? To, when, uh, when does it get boring looking at hot chicks? Are you gay? No, but there's lots of places you can look at hotter chicks than the kind you find on the news, though. I, I, you obviously have not been watching the same newscast I have. Tom, Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show. Show 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're talking about this debate amongst the homely, that uh, news anchors need to be homely and intelligent. Being hot and attractive is, is just wrong. It's just wrong. It's wrong. Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kim. How are you? Do you care, dear? I care because I've been listening to you for years, and I absolutely love your program. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I was just calling because I was actually on my way home, and I heard some guy on the radio saying that there's no such thing as a hot, intelligent chick. And I believe that I am a hot, intelligent chick. Well, all right. Now, look, as we always say on this show, and, you know, it's not necessary to repeat, but you're making it necessary, that there are exceptions to every rule, but you know right. that's generally the rule. Right, right. So but most you are, guys, you are, there's you're no the hot, such you're thing the as hot, a hot, you're the, No, there isn't. I mean, there's you, and then who else? <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a I lot mean, of When you see a hot though. chick on the news, let, let's be honest. Take any hot chick. Mm -hmm. Any hot chick on the news. Do you ever believe that these women ever wrote any of these stories? Much oh, less no. have read a newspaper? Oh, no. No. Come on. Not on the news, no. No. No, I just think that they're supposed to stand around and look good. And 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 they read and they're supposed to pretend like they right, actually they care about these stories. Shut up and stand there and look good, <laughs> oh. and do what you're do what you're told. That's it. That's it. So I mean, look, I mean, if you're going to put women on the newscast, why pretend they're intelligent and well read? Why not just put them there with all their cleavage hanging out, some mini skirts, like they do on Channel 13? Exactly. I, I totally agree stop, with that. Stop with the pretense. Oh, it's journalism. These women are supposed to be journalistic. Forget it. Yeah. To be, to be a journalist, you'd have, to read, you'd have to read first. You'd have to read a right. journal of some right. kind. Right. Yeah, the girls on Channel 13 aren't, aren't journalistic. They all stand around and just chit-chat between each other like women tend to do. Right. And they, 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 and they, they look a Rick, good. The two of them sandwich Rick Garcia in there. They kind of do a little Rick Garcia sandwich. Right. So then He's you're the trying to figure out which one's doing him. <laughs> If not both. Yeah, if not both. Or a few more. People are rubbing yeah, no, up against totally each other. I mean, come on. This newscast is it's like pornography. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree with you there. Yeah. But now, I just happened to turn on the radio as I was driving, and it said, some guy was on the radio said, there's no such thing as an intelligent hot chick. And I went, I'm going to call Tom. I've been wanting to call you forever. Oh, now finally you had your excuse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you come in and take your clothes off, and I'm going to give you an IQ test. I will definitely do that, and you can check out my website. Oh, don't worry. Uh, Dean will get all the uh, pertinent information and set that up. Uh, Betsy on the Todd Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, I, Betsy. I do care. I do care. Thank you. <laughs> um, I am a hot chick in Portland, and I totally agree with your previous So you're not, so you're not, you're not from here then, right? No, I'm not. I grew up in Northern California. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I'm in Portland because I have to continue my education. And the town that I'm from is too small. The college, I maxed out as much as I could. I'm what you call an ugly duckling. 
I didn't uh, I didn't think I was pretty until I was in my early 20s and suddenly guys were noticing me and I was already intelligent because by that time I had to rely on my brain instead of my body. But now I could give a crap about the news. I don't look at the paper ever. <laughs> You're proving my point. I love it. Honestly, I... When I look at the paper, I look at the photos, the little caption that's written under the photo, and some of the headlines, and then I throw it aside. Oh, don't you and look I at look the... at the sale pages on clothes. I was going to say, shoe ads or something? You must look at some shoe ads. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I care about in the paper. If, if it means anything to you, the only news I get is on the CNN reports on Max 910. Really? I don't look at the news broadcasts on TV mainly because I work the night shift at a strip club, and so those news programs happen at times that I'm normally asleep. But if I do catch a news program, that's what I want to see as a hot chick. If I really care about the news, I tune in to whatever station is promoting the story that I'm interested in because it's usually a major catastrophe, and they don't care what the anchor looks like because they're willing to put in a 24-hour day for the top story. So, That's so, when I look at the news on TV. So tell us the kinds of stories you are interested in. I'm sure there's some news directors here in town who'd love to hear your input. Well, goodness gracious. Um, I guess that I'm more interested, well, like I said, on TV, it's the yeah. catastrophe things. Like when Portland had the ice storm, you know, I was watching the 24-hour newscasters yeah. talking about the problem. Uh, that's always that. great stories about weather. You could stick your head out the window and look at the weather, but you might as well close the window and go in and watch it on TV. Yeah, and then even when they have serious material like that, they're showing, like, photos that people have emailed into them. And, you know, they're talking about, you know, some dog that was caught out on a frozen river or something. They're not really talking about the, the progress that is being made and, you know, clearing the roads and all that. Oh, yeah. All right, so you like catastrophes. Do you also like, like, plane crashes and uh No, 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 no. I don't no. like catastrophes at all. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I don't pay attention to the news on TV, because they do focus we're on trying to find out what kinds of st We're trying to find out what kinds of stories you do like. I don't. <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, um, you don't like I any of them. I, I like to know how the stock market is doing, because that affects my money. My income is based on whether or not the businessmen in the world are making money for themselves. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me you invested in stocks, but no, you're worried that the guys who uh, uh, who shove money in your pants there, or your panties, you're worried that they're not going to have any money to put in there. Well, that's one thing, but I also follow real estate because that is where I put my money. I am an oh. investor. You are. Are there real estate stories on TV? No. No. No, they're usually printed in a little local magazine, basically, or like the weekend edition of the paper might have a print of what's uh, going on in the market. Do you get the paper? No. In fact, when, when the newspapers come to me automatically because they're doing a free week or something, yes. I write to them and tell them to remove my address from their list. Because yeah, I don't please, want to stop putting that free stuff on my porch. It's got print on it. Oh, stop. Now, I love magazines, though, but what I'm trying to say is when I want information, I seek it out. I don't just look at the top information of the day and what's coming to me because I'm, honestly, at this point in my life, I'm too motivated on where I'm going. And, yeah, when I'm 45, then I'll be able to rest on my laurels and look at what's going on every day in other people's lives. But right now, all I care about is what's going on in my daily life. And the only things that actually affect my daily life that are in the news that I care about are the catastrophe things, which is when I tune in on the stuff. But you I'm told doing. me you didn't like those. What's that? You told me you didn't. He said first you said you did like those, and then you said you didn't like them. No, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't like accidents and you know bad reports on TV, like like negative stories, things that are you know scary situations. But when there's something huge going on and I'm stuck in my house because my car is frozen to the ground, then I'm going to turn you on like the watching news. Uh, you like home. watching other people who are stuck in the ice and snow. Yeah, the stupid ones that didn't stay home. <laughs> right, exactly, as opposed to you. 
Yeah, the high IQ. Speaking of staying home, are you just going to be locking yourself in the hotel room while you're in town, or are you going to come to the strip club and see me naked? <laughs> Another invite to a strip club. Gary, this is a new record. I've never gotten this many invites to strip clubs. Well, I'm the one. I sent you photos close to an hour ago. Did you get my email? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but why, why don't you come down here and show us what you got? Well, I called the radio station, and they told me they're not letting people in. Oh, well, Gary will handle that. We'll, uh, Gary will get get you in somehow. Yeah? You want me to come down there? Hang on. We've got to figure this out, Betsy. We've got to get a look at what you got, for God's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. We'll break it down for me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. You have that same disease that most women have, okay? You have selective hearing. I probably do. I like to hear what I want to hear. I understand that. The Tom Likas Show. Ah, yes, it's Tom Like a Joe from the studios of Max I 10 Talk Radio for Guys in Portland, Oregon. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Or you can call our comment line 24 hours a day, the number 310 842 9592. That's 310 842 9592. Tom Like a Show.